Now, let us solve question number 9, chapter 14, exercise 14.2. In the figure, ABCD is a parallelogram and E is a midpoint of side BC. If DE and AB, when produced meet at F, prove that AF is equal to 2AB. Now, moving on to the solution. Here it is given that ABCD is a parallelogram and E is midpoint of BC so that DE is extended to F and AB meets it at F. Now, he asked us to prove that AF is equal to 2 times AB. So, in order to prove that, let us consider two triangles that is in triangle DCE and triangle BEF. Let us check the property of congruency. Now, here at point E, angle DEC and angle BEF are vertically opposite angles. We know that vertically opposite angles about the common point are equal that is nothing but angle BEF will be equal to angle CED since they are vertically opposite angles. Also we know that E is a midpoint of CB therefore here CB CE will be equal to EB since it is given that E is the midpoint of CB. Now we know that in the parallelogram sum of adjacent angles is equal to 180 degrees. Here let us consider the adjacent angles as angle B and angle C internally that is angle CBA plus angle BCD is equal to 180 degrees. Also we know that here at B angle ABC or angle CBA and angle CBF form a linear pair. Therefore here angle CBA plus angle CBF will form a linear pair. We know that sum of angles that pair a linear we know that sum of angles that form a linear pair is equal to 180 degrees here. Angle CBA plus angle CBF is equal to 180 degrees. Here in these both equations we can observe the right hand side is common so we can equate the left hand side that is nothing but angle CBA plus angle BCD is equal to angle CBA plus angle CBF. On both sides we get cancelled angle CBA so we are left out with angle BCD is equal to angle CBF which implies Instead of BCD, that is nothing but measure of this angle, we can write it as angle ECD, which is equal to, instead of angle CBF, we can write it as angle EBF. So here, EBF is equal to angle ECD. Therefore, in both the triangles, two corresponding angles and one side is equal. Therefore, by ASA congruency property, we can say that two triangles are congruent. Here, triangle DEC is congruent to triangle BEF. We know that when two triangles are congruent, then the corresponding angles and corresponding sides will be equal. Therefore, we can say that here BF will be equal to CD. Let this be as equation number 1. Now, we know that in the parallelogram, opposite sides are equal and or parallel. We can say here, AB is parallel to CD and AB will be equal to CD. Therefore, let us consider AF now. AF can be written as from the figure, sum of AB plus BF. But we have BF as CD here. So, AB plus BF can be written as CD which is equal to AB plus from the property of parallelogram we have that AB is equal to CD therefore CD can be written as AB which is equal to AB plus AB is nothing but 2 times AB finally we got that AF is equal to 2 times AB which is the required proof for us.